guys, welcome to Rebuild. Now, a lot of my, a lot of y'all came for me and I didn't ask for you. I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just wanted to clear things up because of the feedback I got from my video online dating. And if you haven't watched it, it's right here. Just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Point blank. That's all I'm saying. Go ahead, do you. As long as you're being led by the spirit and not, you know, not doing this because you're seeking validation anyway off topic today we always hear about the proverbs 31 woman oh you know i'm looking for that proverbs 31 woman that always comes along with ephesians 5 now i'm curious so i go to my bible talk about ephesians 5 and all i saw in ephesians 5 is how a husband needs to treat a wife and how marriage should be i'm sorry i maybe maybe you guys have a different revelation that's all I saw. So I was like, okay, so we have the virtuous woman described in Proverbs 31. What about a man? What makes up a noble man? And I got a couple of revelations from the B-I-B-L-E. And I can't wait to share it with you. Let's get to S-O and music. Rebuilt, if it's your first time here, welcome. Join the tribe. Thank you for even taking the time. To watch this video now for most of y'all who know me you know i'm transparent right i keep it 100 anyway so i was curious i'm like y'all be telling me about this proverbs 31 woman which first of all it's very hard to <laughs> let's be real we live up to be like that i doubt anybody can stand straight tall and say that they are actually a proverbs 31 woman but we do strive to it to being that woman but I have good news, ladies. We're looking for men, right? We're looking for character. What I'm looking for, I'm not looking for um, the definition of a good man from the world. I got some few characteristics that I didn't even know I was looking for. And that is the Job 29 man. Job 29. And when I say Job 29, let me just be real specific. I'm talking about Job 29, 7 through 17. He, you all know the story of Job, right? The patient man, he was tried by uh, the enemy and he lost everything. He was so patient. He never cursed God. But there are certain aspects or attributes that are highlighted in Job 29, 7, 17. Honey, that's all you need characteristics of a noble man as a Proverbs 31 woman. Here it is, Job 29, 7 to 17. And I have to give out a shout out to a friend of mine because she's the one who kind of... <laughs> She kind of made me stay woke like that, you know? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get straight into it. The first attribute that he talks about, or the, the Bible talks about, is the fact that he's respected by both old and young men. What makes somebody respect somebody else, right? What makes you respected? What do you do? What are your outward actions? What have you done to help the society? Or what are you doing to better somebody else? You have to be respected in that regard. That means anything that come out, comes out of your mouth is you know people actually want to know how what you think i'm sorry my voice is going out i'm sorry the devil's trying me today but the first attribute is the fact that he has to be respected and a man who is respected is one that is worth looking out for right number two the second attribute that job 29 talks about is he's reputable so he it means as much as he's respected he has a good character everybody that knows this dude they know him for the good things that he's done they know him they don't know him for any scandals for any drama they know him for the good things that he has done in the society now do you have to already have had that no we are less than perfect but do you strive to get to that point see what i'm talking about it's not about what you already have it's what you're striving to be okay the third the third attribute that was kind of i kind of picked up from job was the fact that he is kind oh my god i am a sucker for kind men and i feel like it should be if you have a kind heart that's the, that's a very not a lot of people are kind but if you have a kind, it says in, in, in the word that um, he feeds the poor. He is a father to the fatherless. He's kind to the widows. He has a kind heart. And if he can do that with people out in the street that he doesn't even know that much, how much more is he going to do for his wife? So that's the third attribute I kind of saw that spoke out to me. He is kind to the poor. And I... Ladies, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Is it just me? 
helps me like there's nothing as awful as a guy who's rude and disrespectful and not kind and I love the fact that my Bible reassured me that there ain't nothing wrong with not liking that type of mess okay if he's kind you Gucci the fourth attribute that's been mentioned in Job 29 7 17 is the fact that he puts on righteousness as his clothing this can preach this can preach we know that Jesus Christ we can only be righteous through him that means he has a relationship with Jesus he has a relationship with God that's the fourth thing that I was looking for and even going in further I think and I believe that this man the man who is um, clothing himself with righteousness is also putting on the armor of God that means you know if you want to go read uh, Ephesians 6 10 to 18 talks about the whole armor of God and that's the belt of truth the breastplate of righteousness his feet are fitted with the gospel of peace he has a shield of faith and a helmet of salvation not forgetting the sword of the Spirit of God that means he has a relationship with God point blank we always say we always talk about oh we want a godly man but and I know we say that I just I always want to I always need proof show me where it is in the Bible godly man Job 29 7 17 the last attribute that I I, um, I found was the fact that he is not gonna stand for injustice he ain't doing it he is not about injustice and I like that he can voice his opinion respectfully of course and of course he has to respect authority you know because we have to straighten the word too but I feel like those characteristics have summed up or have equaled up to the Proverbs 31 woman and I feel like when people talk about the Proverbs 31 woman, talk about the Job 29 man because this man was patient, he was loved, he was respected, he had a very reputable character out in the streets, he clothed the... He clothed the needy, you know, he uh, he was a father to the fatherless, he was kind to the widows, and he has the whole righteousness of God. So ladies, I hope this helps. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't watched a couple of my videos, I will put them somewhere here i was told not to point but i'm gonna put them somewhere here um and go ahead and have a great rest of your week this is reina remember you're never too tainted to witness peace no.